I got three BoxyCharm boxes within 24 hours and today we are going to do an unboxing of this one. This is the May 2019 BoxyCharm box. Let's see what I got and let's see if it's amazing. This does not look amazing. Hey, it's Kara. Welcome to Champagne Tasting of Your Budget. We are going to do an unboxing today of the May 2019 BoxyCharm. But not only that, I happened to get three boxes within 24 hours. I know, it's awesome. I got one that I know you guys can guess. I got the skincare box, so that will be in a different video. Otherwise, this video will be too long. And then I got this box. What is it? What is it? Uh, that'll be in a separate video. So be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you'll be made aware of when I upload those videos. But today we are focusing on the May box. I'm so glad that I kind of got this early. Uh, people have been posting reviews on them in the past several days and I am not an influencer where I get my box early. Uh, I pay for all my boxes myself, so video is not sponsored. And let's get into it. So the theme is making waves. I'm sure you've already seen this little guy here. And we have five items in the box. And if you're not familiar with BoxyCharm, it is a monthly subscription service that costs $21 plus state tax you get four to five full-size items every month you can cancel whenever you like and there will be a link in my description box below as to how you can join boxycharm if you're not already a subscriber okay so what's in my box okay we have we have opened the box and my first big item is the glam glow bubble cleanser so as you guys we're already aware we were either going to get this or the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. And I was just gung-ho. I wanted that First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream so much. And I've never even used a Glam Glow product. But I gave this a try before filming and I really like this. I have sensitive skin and I also have a bit of rosacea and some melasma. And the rosacea can kick up, become worse, that's the redness. That can become worse if you use the wrong product. So those of us with rosacea, the redness on our face, uh, we're very picky about what we use, uh, especially for cleansers. We cannot use anything irritating or else you could have an exacerbation of that redness. But this worked out fantastically. It's fragrance free. Um, did it bubble? It's called Gentle Bubble. Did it bubble? I don't really know because I was in the shower. Uh, it did not hurt my eyes. I, I have to tell you I didn't rub it near my eyes since I wasn't taking off makeup. Uh, but I did find it to be gentle and afterwards I took particular notice to see whether it actually was skin smoothing afterwards or whether my skin felt stripped and my skin did feel nice afterwards. And this performed very, very well for me. Um, I'm really excited about it because I was dreading getting this and then this may be my favorite item in the box. So I like this. So thank you BoxyCharm for turning me on to something that I would have never picked this up on my own if you know, BoxyCharm could pick it up for me and drop it off on my doorstep, so. Glam Glow, good stuff. Next up we have the Ciate London Eye Luster Cream Shadow. And this one is in Cupid, and Cupid is the pinky color. There were two colors we could have gotten, Cupid or Ice. And this looks like it's lavender or a pinky color in the tube. But let's take a look and see what it does when we swatch it. So, oh, it comes out very thick. 
very creamy, I should say. It's a, it's much more creamy than a Stila uh, glittering glow or shimmering glow. So that would be the eye luster in Cupid. And it definitely is a duo chrome. It looks to be pink or lavender in the package, but as soon as you put it on your hand, it looks to have a golden hue. So I've already done my eye makeup and my eyeshadow today is BH Cosmetics Shan XO The Remix. This is an 18 shadow palette. So I got this at TJ Maxx for $7.99. I just wanted to show you guys because there are just some great deals to be had uh, at TJ Maxx and I will link some of my TJ Maxx shopping trips up above. And I mention that because I have a magenta pink look going on with my eyes today and I want to see how this Ciate Eye Luster plays with the Shan XO palette. So I'm just going to apply it right in the center, just a tiny bit, and then blend it out and see what we have. So I think this is very pretty, but I think I would use this more as an eyeshadow topper than I would for an entire eyeshadow look. But then again, I could try this out without eyeshadow tomorrow and change my mind on that. But I'm just going to put a little bit right in the center and then blend it out with my finger. It's cute. I, I like it. I wasn't expecting to like this either, <laughs> but I like this. It's different than the Stila Shimmering Glow, Glitter and Glow. The formula is different. Uh, it's much creamier. There's more texture to it. Um, let's see. I just swatched this about a minute ago. So let's see if it's quick drying. Oh, there we go, guys. So we know it's quick drying. No smudging. I like this. I did check this out at the website when I was doing my spoiler video. I'll link the spoiler video up here. And I think this is a new product and there's only two shades available. It was Ice and it was Cupid. So there are not currently other shades available, but it'll be interesting to see if Ciate does come out with more um, shades of this because I, I like this product. I think this is nice. And the Ciate London Eye Luster Shadow is $22 retail price. Okay, next in the box, I have a pencil. And surprisingly enough, it is not a black eye pencil. This pencil is green and it is bodyography. Okay, so looking at the card, it says, this vegan, cruelty-free, bodyography lip pencil is antioxidant rich, infused with coconut oil, and vitamin E. So that's really good to have a lip pencil with coconut oil. The smooth yet long-wearing formula glides on effortlessly, delivering durable pigment that can frame, fill in, and define the lips. This has a retail value of $14. It's already nice and sharp, and it's a green lip pencil by Bodyography. I don't own any green lip pencils, but if BoxyCharm sent it to me, then I am going to trust them. So it's a green lip pencil, and I can't say that I own any green lip pencils, but you can use this to line and fill in your lips. Frame, fill in, and define. So I guess we're going to check this out. Okay. I can't 
say that green is my go-to color for lip products. But I know that Jeffree Star has a green. He has crocodile tears, right? The green lip product. Did any of you guys get the green lip pencil in your BoxyCharm box? Let me know in the comments down below. Now this pencil really does go on pretty well. I haven't used a green lip pencil, so I'm wondering, will it get stuck on my teeth? Okay guys, I said it was going to be a try on video and here we are trying it on. So this is the green lip pencil. Okay. Okay, moving along with the try on aspect of my unboxing. Um, we'll move on to the blush palette. What can go wrong with a blush palette? This is by Alamar Cosmetics. Uh, this retail value $22. And I know that Alamar did a eyeshadow palette. Um, previously for BoxyCharm. I did not have that one. These are the shades. Now, I got mine in Fair to Light, and I tried to do a hack on this. When I first learned through the sneak peeks that this palette was an option, I looked at the three colors. I decided that this Fair light one had two oranges and a rose and I wasn't too thrilled with it so I liked the medium better and I'm going to insert right up here uh, the photos of the light on the left and the medium on the right I decided that I liked the medium palette better so I immediately went in changed my profile to medium skin and was hoping that when it came I would have the medium skin one but my hack did not work and I have the light one, so let's try it on. All right, so I pulled my hair back and I can't really say that this is one of my favorite makeup looks so far with the green lips and the pink eyeshadow and the duochrome on the eyes, but it's a try on, so we're going to keep trying on. Okay, so we're going to use Castaway, the one on the left. Castaway looks like it is a tangerine shimmer. Mmm, mm-hmm. Tangerine. So um, we are going to try this out and see how it looks. Now you have to think that Box Charm is picking these products for us for a reason, right? They want us to look our most beautiful. Boxy Charm wouldn't do us wrong. Okay, so we have um, an orange blush shade going on. I cannot say that this compliments me in any way. And I cannot say that the orange blush complements the green lip liner pencil. Oh, 
Okay, by looking at this combination of the castaway tangerine looking shimmery blush in the green lip pencil, I'm thinking that BoxyCharm hates me. Okay, we have one product left. And it is the Dose of Colors. Now, a lot of people wanted Dose of Colors, including me. And some people got better shades than other people. What color is my shade? Mmm, fluorescent pink. I would call this 1980s body glove swimsuit neon pink. I will insert a photo right up here of the Body Glove 1980s swimsuit color in neon pink. The color of this dose of colors is Pinky Promise. And at this stage of the game, I'm thinking that Boxy Charm hates me. This one I am not going to try on today. And besides, it doesn't match my green lips. The Dose of Colors description says your new Dose of Colors liquid matte lipstick has a velvety high fashion matte finish which envelopes lips in long wearing color. It applies as a creamy liquid but after a few minutes it dries to an ultra comfortable matte finish and I would definitely agree with that description. Um, I do have the Dose of Colors lipstick and I do love the formula. So the formula is wonderful for these, but the shade is a little bit too bright for me and for the look that I create on a daily basis. So this one may be uh, swapped. I'll link the swap site up above if you have anything from subscription boxes that you want to swap. Or it could be in a future giveaway. I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to put this one aside. So this is the look we have from the BoxyCharm 2019 box. We have a green lip pencil by Bodyography. And this tangerine shade blush over here that I would never buy for myself. Um, and as I look into the little monitor... I think my face looks like the Irish flag. We have the green, we have the white, we have the orange. So, could this be a St. Patty's Day look? Why, BoxyCharm, why? That is all I have for you today, guys. Today was not one of my happier makeup days. And I do not know why I have a green lip pencil in tangerine blush. It's just wrong. But I do have an excellent Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Cleanser, which is great for my sensitive skin. And if it's great for my sensitive skin, I think it's going to be great for everybody. Um, it's not drying. It doesn't strip the skin. I like it. And for that... I'm going to say that this was a good box. I hope you like my video. Please hit the like button and subscribe so that you'll be made aware of when I upload the other videos for the skincare box as well as the other little box that I got in the last 24 hours. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys at the next one. Bye.